Families all across the country have dealt with unprecedented challenges in the wake of the pandemic. Unemployment, health scares, virtual school. 11 Alive is where Atlanta speaks, and we recently received an email about an Atlanta family dealing with the domino effect of all of the above. A new mom that would never ask for help on her own, even though her baby is still in the hospital fighting for her life. Liza Lucas has more. Welcomed into the world in the middle of a pandemic. Her name is Nevaeh Grace West, and she was born 10-7-2020 at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They told us that she had trisomy 21, which is Down syndrome, but they assured us that everything would be okay. It's not okay. She's literally fighting for her life. In the hospital since birth, Nevaeh awaits heart surgery. Her brother and sisters wait for her to come home, a home her mom is trying desperately to hold on to. I was trying to look for another job. I was trying to get hired on somewhere else. And then their hiring process froze. I had to go apply for unemployment. I withdrew money from my 401k. Kimberly Perry lost her job early last year. She downsized her apartment and like millions of Americans is relying on unemployment benefits to get by. While the U.S. added 245,000 jobs in November, Kimberly is torn between days spent juggling her kids' virtual school, her nights spent with Nevaeh. I wanted to get a night job or something, but they're telling me about surgery now. Surgery just one of the hurdles ahead for Nevaeh. Kimberly says even when she comes home, her immune system will be vulnerable, so there's a risk in sending the other kids back to school. Meanwhile, Kimberly's unemployment benefits are set to expire. I tried doing Lyft the other day. It was kind of not happening because it wasn't that busy because of people fearful of COVID. We have like help this month because I've saved up some money from unemployment but next month. I don't know. A mother pulled in different directions, praying for her daughter's health and her family's security. I just want her to get better. And I want to be able to like do everything within my power to try to make sure that my kids are taken care of. Kimberly's family is like many, just hoping for a holiday blessing this season, like millions of Americans. She's also watching Congress to see if there will be a new relief bill. You can learn more about this family and check out resources for rental assistance on my story on 11alive.com.